out very well then, because I know, like, I would work the Penn State camps this summer, and Kale Sanderson, that's all he talked about was very well. And so, yeah. <laughs> like, how did you hook up with him, and, and what is he doing that way? Yeah, so, you know, Barry got out of, you know, Barry um, went, and he was, the, like, kind of the head associate coach for about seven or eight years under Spates at OU. And uh, he got out of the coaching world and, and wanted to make some some real money, got into the medical field, and uh, moved to the Springfield area and picked Nixa. And when he moved here, like everybody knew he moved here and everybody was reaching out, like, you know, calling him and begging him to come in. And and um, I actually took the opposite route. Was like, you know, he bought a house on Nixa, so I knew he was going to be here for a while. And I figured the guy didn't, you know, he got out of coaching, so I figured he didn't want to, you know, help eighth graders. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so probably like a whole year or two went by and there's really no contact. And finally he reached out to me one day and just called me and, and uh, you know, introduced himself. We went and sat down and had lunch and, and, um, you know, he wasn't hundred percent sure like what his role looked like. You know, he wanted to improve wrestling in the Springfield area. Um, and, and, you know, wasn't necessarily going to focus on Nixa entirely. Um, and then, you know, he's been around eight or nine years now and that has shifted into, he's a now a full blown coach here at Nixa. He's a, runs our youth program and, and, um, you know, that, that's a whole exciting part of our, you know, we had over 200 and uh, I think 215 kids that were paid and registered in our club last year. Um, and so that creates logistical issues in itself, you know, trying to find practice rooms and minutes in the day to get all those kids coached up. So he's been a huge blessing and asset to our program.